Hi everyone, this is Stephanie. Um, it's December 31st, first thing in the morning. And yes, I am recording this video in my car. Uh, <laughs> my car has become my um, sanctuary chapel over the course of 2020. I've had, I don't know how many conversations with people out here. I've cried buckets over this whole pandemic and all the different things that have affected me. And I did a lot of the reading for my exams that I had to take for my clinical EFT practitioner certification. I, I did them in the car, whether taking my son to a football workout and sitting in the car or just, just coming out here because I just needed some space. And most of the time when I came out to the car in 2020, uh, it was because I didn't want to be found or I just was feeling really, really trapped. And I think that that feeling of being trapped is, um, I think it's pretty universal. I think it's something that a lot of people have really felt this year. I think they're still feeling it. And I think we're feeling it in a way now because we, we don't know how this is all going to play out. Uh, it's great that the vaccines are coming, but at least here in the U.S., the cases continue to spike and it's, it's so frightening. So everyone's weary. Um, but what I wanted to do this morning was just, just to kind of make a video to hopefully clear some of 2020 out of our system so we can go forward tomorrow, hopefully fresh. Uh, and ready for whatever 2021 has in store, hopefully better, and but we'll have to see, and we don't have the crystal ball. So anyway, I um, in my last video that I did on sadness, I just I picked a bunch of themes that I've heard people express to me, and I thought we would go ahead and do that today. And um, again, you can tap along. Um, I'll try to say the word slowly so you can follow along with me. Um, but you can also feel free to substitute the words for you. Um, and this is a general form of tapping. Obviously, I'm not sitting with you and as a clinical EFT practitioner, which, yay, <laughs> that's something cool that happened. Just yesterday, I got notification. I'm certified. But anyway, if we're sitting doing a session together, uh, it's very specific and it's, it's a very deep dive session. And this is more general, but hopefully it gives you some relief. So let's just get tapping. So tapping on the side of your hand, even though I feel really trapped, and I have felt so trapped since this whole pandemic began, and I have felt trapped by all the circumstances I've had to deal with in 2020, I deeply and completely accept myself, even though I still feel so trapped. Even though I know that vaccines are coming against this virus, I don't have it right now and I still feel really trapped. And I have felt trapped since this whole pandemic began. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I just wanna get out of 2020, I still feel trapped because I don't know what 2021 will hold. And I just want to shake off this trapped feeling I've had it with feeling trapped. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. I feel so trapped. I felt so trapped by 2020. When I feel trapped, I feel it as a pressure in my chest. I feel a sick feeling in my stomach. I feel tension in the back of my head and my neck. I feel a trapped feeling in my hips. Feeling trapped makes me so sad. I 
I feel trapped because I can't get away from my family members right now. I feel trapped because my house is so small. I feel trapped because I can't see my parents right now. It's too dangerous. I feel trapped because I lost my job. I feel trapped because I lost my unemployment benefits. I feel trapped because I lost my home this year. I feel trapped because I don't have a better school option for my kids. I feel trapped because I feel so isolated. This feeling of being trapped makes me feel so very lonely. And when I feel lonely, sometimes all the hard things that bat around inside my head come up and I feel trapped because I can't get away from them. And I don't want to be thinking these thoughts. I don't want to be having these feelings. And I feel trapped because I don't know what to do about them. This feeling of being trapped. I want 2021 to come. I want to think that things will get better. But I don't know if things will get better. I hope that they will, but I don't know when, and that makes me feel trapped. This trapped feeling in my back, this trapped feeling in my head, this sadness that I feel, this loneliness that I feel, this anger that I feel, enough already. I am so tired of being trapped already, okay? I've had it. I feel like I'm going to snap. I'm so tired of feeling trapped. So tired of feeling trapped. I'm over feeling trapped. I feel so sad about feeling trapped. I'm so scared underneath this feeling of being trapped. I'm so lonely under this feeling of being trapped. I'm so over 2020 and being trapped. Okay, take a nice deep breath in. And I want you to put your hands on your heart. And we're going to take a nice deep breath in. And I want you to blow it out like whew, really, really hard, like whew, blow it out, okay? But when you blow it out, I want you to say, go. We're going to kick 2020 out of our systems, okay? All right, so ready, breathe in. And breathing out, go. All right, one more deep breath in. Breathing out, go. And one more nice breath in. We're gonna say goodbye 2020 and blow it out. 
<sighs> goodbye 2020. Okay? <laughs> goodbye. So, anyway, no idea what to expect in 21, 2021, but I think for a lot of us, we've just dealt with just <laughs> shit circumstances and it may not feel like it, but I think many of us have had to journey through really hard things and we may find, maybe not right away, but as we look back on this period of time that, that, that I don't know, that we grew stronger or we realized what was important or some sort of change, you know? But I just want to say if you are feeling in a really desperate, lonely, trapped place, it is extremely important that you not be alone. So I want to encourage you to reach out for help, reach out for a friend, uh, but don't stay alone. And as always, uh, feel free to replay this video and I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to everyone who's watching and um, I just send you so much love and I wish you whatever is best for you and your soul and, and uh, your inner peace and your happiness this coming year. And I hope to see you soon.